Adin, my boy, what work do you do? Adin did not answer, and his face was red. Oh, don't ask Aladdin questions about work, his mother said. He never works. He plays with his friends all day and only comes home when he is hungry. Well, my boy, tomorrow we must get a new coat for you. Then we can talk about work. Would you like to have a shop in the market, perhaps? Aladdin smiled. A shop, he thought. And me, a rich market seller. Why not? A walk to nowhere. Early the next morning, Abanazar arrived at Aladdin's house. And then he and Adin walked to the market. First of all, we must look at God, Abanazar said. Soon, Adin had an expensive new coat, and he felt very happy. Then. Abanazar and Aladdin walked uh, through the market and looked at the shops. They drank coffee, talked to people and had a very good dinner. It was a wonderful day for Aladdin. On Friday, when the market was closed, Abanazar took Adin to the beautiful gardens in the city. They walked under the trees and talked about a shop for Adin. Adin had an expensive new coat. They walked past the Sultan's palace. You are very good to me, uncle, said Aladdin. Abanazar smiled, but of course, he said, you are my brother's son. Now let us leave the city and go up into the hills. There is something wonderful there and you must see it. They left the gardens walked past the sultan's palace and uh, out of the city, up into the hills. They walked for a long time and uh, Aladdin began to feel tired. It's not far now, said Abanazar. We are going to see a beautiful garden more beautiful than and garden of the sultan's palace. At last, Abanazar stopped. Here we are, he said. Adin looked, but he could see no gardens on the hills. Where is his garden, uncle? he said. First, we must make a fire, said Abanazarat.